folks, and welcome to our latest vlog. Uh, we're joining uh, Graham Toft on his tail end of his birding workshop here at the University of Sunshine Coast. Uh, we're going to go with the crew and we're going to take some photos down amongst the nature reserve. Come along, we'll see what we can find. So what's that shot look like? Okay. See how it's focused on the grass and hasn't focused on the bird? So peaceful down here in the afternoon. Got beautiful reflections coming off that lake. Oh, in flight. He hasn't gone far, we're still in with the charts. Give it while you can. It's challenging. Yeah. I've got a bit of blood. I'm just saying, with those uh, ducks when they're in the, the smooth water, beautiful reflection. Fresh and yeah. Then it's got to go into that little bit of a ripple. Wind. Yeah, that's it. Takes <laughs> it all the way. Yeah. Have you enjoyed today, Pete? I have. Yes, it's been good. Yeah, yeah. it's been good fun, isn't it? It's, uh, it's a reinforcement of things that you thought you knew, and you know, and some correction of some things that you, you know you got wrong. And that. I've, no, it was good. It was good having a good tutorial session first. Yeah, yeah. And I, I like the way Graham just is, you know, doesn't talk in technical terms. No, that's right. Yeah, he's easy to understand, and he gets a yeah. great result. He does get a great result. But I think patience is the name of the game. Oh, absolutely. So I just thought I'd uh, try and get a bit closer if I could to this bird. Uh, if I can just see a, a reflection coming on this side of him. But there's another duck, another waterfowl just landed in the reflection. Uh, I'll take a couple of test shots and I'll see if I can last out and see if my patience lasts. See that posture change then? That was just when he lifted his head. Lovely, yeah. So you can see I'm trying to work on that reflection at yeah. the bottom there. I think what I'm suffering from is with this uh, two times tele adapter on here, it's up to 400 mils. I'm trying to shoot it about at 125th and I'm trying to hand hold it and I just don't think I'm on the money. I'm going to uh, shoot the focal length of the lens, so with a 2 times tele adapter at 200 is 400. Now to get that light meter to balance, I've opened the aperture as far as I can, so I'm going to, uh, I'm going to balance that light meter using ISO. So I've gone out now to 800. Oh. And that's, that's the luck of the draw. That's wildlife photography for you folks. <laughs> Never mind, we'll, we'll push on. We'll find yeah. another one. I didn't even see where he went. Yep, that's it. So have a look at your first there now. Go back through them and see what you've got. So you're going to have something in focus there. You think? Getting close, there you go. Okay. All right, now there's another one that's getting close. There you go, that's another one. All right, it's easy okay. for them to fly out of frame. Yeah. But you've got more in focus than you have out of focus. So roll back, keep it at that magnification. Roll back the other way and have a look at some of those other ones that you've taken. Go the other direction. Yep. Okay, okay. so that one, that, no, that, just go, that one, that one there. So roll it back in. You could say that that's the holy grail of <laughs> get, getting the birds in flight. Oh, geez, mate, you've done really well. You got another one there? Uh, so start, let's just start with the dance. Well, then the camera's supposed to be smart enough to say, well, we're in one shot, so we can focus what we're in the pose. But now that your wife is dancing, I'm going to swap you to serve. Who's got a, a, a focus on there now? What ISO have you got? And what speed? 
56.3. What's your speed? 250. Okay, so 250 is fine. Anybody got a faster speed? What have you got? 400. On what ISO? Okay. Push your ISO out to a thousand and see what it does to your speed. Does that bump your speed? Yeah, okay. So can everybody do that? If you're not getting speed, bump your ISO until you've got at least 400 per second. If you can achieve that. Now, if you can't achieve that, have a look at your aperture and see if you can reduce the f-stop number down. Now the ruse tail is hanging out behind him. So rem remember, remember the, that the aperture, the aperture is going to have to close down if you want to make it an inclusive shot. So the moment he puts his head up and looks at you, if you're only on a, a, a wide open aperture, you'll probably only get the head and shot. Yeah. Does everybody understand the importance of depth of field and what it does? Can somebody explain yeah. to me what depth of field is? Now, shutter speed. Was anybody having a challenge with shutter speed? Getting it up fast enough to be able to capture those birds. So if we open the aperture, is it a larger number or a smaller number? It's a smaller number, isn't it? Did anybody take uh, shots today with the maximum ISO? Yeah. 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 Yes. What were the results like? Brain? Terrible? Okay. So, thanks, thanks for sharing. That was great. I had a great afternoon too. It was a lot more fun than cleaning the office, I tell you. Um, folks, um, on the 18th of November, I'm planning a trip over to Noosa North Shore. I'd love you to join us, Neen. Yeah. Um, it's simply just a day out where we get the photographic community together. If you haven't got a four-wheel drive, don't panic because on the ferry over to the actual resort, it's all skilled road. From that point, we're going to ask for people that have got a four-wheel drive to volunteer and we'll all carpool together. But I'd love to take a, a trip out there. It'll be a, you know, say a, a half day or six hours. So folks, if you'd like to join us for that, um, brush, uh, you might be able to do a lot of good little practice in the long time. Sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Terrific. All right, folks. Thank, Thank you very much. much.